It is an unlikely place to find Ukraine's war effort in full swing. In the bowels of a former railway plant, 5,000 miles from the battlefields, American steel workers producing round after round of artillery. We're on the production line of a century-old factory, an industry that had been dismissed as obsolete is now in overdrive. This robot will operate in this uh, environment all day, every day. The tour offered to Sky News is an attempt to show that the production line is fine, that the West is not running out of ammunition. The US Army's boss here is Richard Hansen. There's a, a surge in, in production. We're working as hard as we need to work to fulfill the requirements of the contract. Um, the, you know, we're working probably uh, two shifts every day, solid five, six days a week, and also preparing you know, to increase production incrementally. None of the officials will mention Ukraine itself. Language is carefully controlled, contracts and meeting demand. But the contract is Ukraine and the demand is huge. The flow has not been this fast since the Korean War 70 years ago. 11,000 rounds now roll off this line each month, and yet it's not nearly matching what Ukraine's army is using. Well, one staggering statistic which illustrates the intensity of the war in Ukraine, the military there is firing off between five and 7,000 of these artillery shells every single day. And that's why the US military is investing $2 billion to ramp up production of facilities like these. This factory alone is getting $240 million to modernize because Russia has spooked the West, a mechanical war of the type they thought was in the past. It's firing up old factories and old rivalries. Russia is obviously the wrong and we're doing the right thing by supporting them. I am proud of what we do. Um, it's, it's exciting to be a part of it. The pre-Ukraine just-in-time supply chain is breaking down and stockpiles are shrinking. Put simply, it's a race against Russia to rearm. It's expensive. Important safety standards slow the process, and this is the easy part. Because from here, they're shipped a thousand miles west to Iowa, where they're filled with explosives and fuses are fitted and then to Ukraine. This surge in activity reflects the new fragile reality, hollowed out Western stockpiles and the threat of continental conflicts. Mark Stone, Sky News in Scranton, Pennsylvania.